Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, welcome to the family. If you're a returning subscriber, I love you guys. Welcome back. So let's dig in and see exactly what spirit has to say for us, okay? So spirit guides, ancestors, oracles of the highest white light. I call you into my beautiful space and ask for a clear, precise channeled message for my beautiful collective. What do we need to know today? Okay, so let's clear them energies out and let's call in our ancestors ancestors anything other than the highest white light i'm asking you to clear the energy now and only allow the good things to come in <laughs> good messages guys all right so don't forget to like comment subscribe put yourself where you belong these are timeless general and collective readings okay i love you guys and thank you for the support spirit guides show me what's going on here what are we tapping into right off the bat let's get into the tarot right off the bat Whew. All right, guys. Yeah, it's the justice in reverse. Somebody is feeling very left out from you, okay? It could be uh, mental poverty, spiritual poverty, uh, financial pro poverty. There's some kind of poverty, a lack mentality, and somebody um, is continuously trying to cause you injustice, and then they feel left out from you. Okay, so... <sighs> Somebody feels like it's going to be a very, very cold winter. Why? Because the Four of Pentacles is in reverse. Somebody can't hold on to you anymore, okay? They're really, really feeling some kind of way because this injustice isn't working. Now, the Seven of Swords is here in reverse. The Ace of Cups in the upright. The Eight of Cups in the reverse. And then the Lovers in the reverse now what i'm seeing here is there was a lot of injustice clearly and somebody can't hold on to you now whatever lies were told on you they're clearly getting cleared up somebody is coming to spin the block and tell the truth because they can't cut, keep their mouth shut it's it is what it is they have this love that is overflowing agape and it's like it's they're so attracted to you a lot of people are so attracted to you because of your authenticity and the things that you speak are legitimate like they speak volumes in people's lives. And this is why people feel like they don't want you to walk away from them. They don't want you to end a cycle. But there's a lot of karmic energies here. And this is what you're eliminating. This is why people can't hold on to you and they're feeling left out. Like it's going to be a very cold winter without you in it. Because they rejected you. Now you are rejecting them because you're out of the blindfold, the naive. You're no, there's no rose-colored glasses here, guys. So as much as you see the truth, so do they. Now a lot of people are feeling some kind of way for treating you some fucking kind of way. But it is what it is. They can't hold on to you because of the Six of Pentacles in reverse. Now these people refuse to give to you. They were breadcrumbing lying on you distorting your energy or distorting people's view <sighs> so that this way you wouldn't celebrate with people but your love is there and you're still celebrating either way so remember guys bottom of the deck it's this emperor in reverse somebody is extremely fucking controlling and thinks that because they can control jezebels they can control you and that's just not the fucking case because you're not a jezebel this is why somebody is aimlessly wandering and wants you to aimlessly wander with them in a polygamous polyamorous kind of lifestyle and that's not what you're doing now, this doesn't have to be sexually, guys. It could be a boss, a mentor of some kind, but this person is not a real leader. It's the hermit with the high priestess that comes out both in reverse, okay? Somebody is very dark, in a very dark spot right now, and it's because of this magic or manipulation, or they listen to somebody externally. Maybe they got in a relationship with somebody who was using magic on them, and now all that magic and manipulation and condescending attitude and Jezebel spirit is being seen. It is what it is, and that's why a five of it's why the Five of Pentacles comes popping out. Somebody feels very left out from you because you are single, self-sufficient, independent, and you don't need no damn body. Booyah, baby. I love it. So let's see what's going on here, and then I'm going to clarify it a little more, but I want some Oracle deck messages to see what's going on here because I honestly see somebody who wanted to celebrate with you and tell you the truth, this emperor, but they didn't. They listened to the external world and caused a lot of injustice and neglected you. Now you are refusing this and letting go of whatever thought process miserly because you see the truth. There's no more rose colored glasses. Somebody is spinning the block to tell you something. But at the end of the day, they're still not going to give you reciprocity. 
You make somebody's heart so fucking full and they rejected you. That's the truth. And they wanted to come in and tell the truth, but they didn't. And now they want to, but are they going to give reciprocity? I don't think so. This is why you have to always use your discernment and say no. No one to say no. No one to say yes. No, it's your energy. and No, it's not. Get out of the illusions, guys. Somebody wants you to choose them or wants you to choose you take it as it resonates guys if somebody's got options tell them to take the options <laughs> because at the end of the day they're gonna be taking from you and giving somewhere else whether it's friends family something somebody has to be all in with you or else inevitably they're just they're just gonna be um bleeding the energy that is being bled onto them onto you because they clearly don't know how to you know transmute that darkness that's why they're in the emperor in reverse continuously aim aimlessly wandering okay and it says if i could if i asked you to stay would you leave now you are saying yes okay i don't know if you could see it but the ancestors oracles are saying yes the bottom of the deck it says i think so yes now somebody is very 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 upset that somebody really wants to come back says let me have you Ooh, somebody really wants you like really really wants you it says i could be your hero baby okay so you have somebody coming in now you could be your own hero i'm not gonna lie you know you clearly had to save yourself from this toxic motherfucker but somebody is coming in to speak the truth you make their heart full and you said no because there was somebody else, whether this is friends, family, acquaintances, a job, you knew there was some kind of competition. So you said, I'm not competing. Choose the other person. It is what it is. And that's somebody is on the verge of spilling the tea. All the gossip is about to be spilled. Somebody wants to come and confess and reveal everything to you. Didn't I just say this? They see you as single, self-sufficient, independent. They know everything that was said about this injustice and shit was all false. Somebody is so fucking intrigued with you. They're pausing to look and reflect at a situation and really see exactly where, um, uh, where time is a major factor in this, okay? So somebody might have just took a lot of fucking time and is about to just pop the fuck up on you. There's about to be some kind of spontaneous, unexpected surprise visit from somebody. You may know them. You may not know them, guys. I don't know, but somebody is about to pop up, okay? They want to thank you. This is the thank you card out of this deck. They know that you said no to them before, but they're so fucking indulged with you and they want to tell you something. They want to confess to you. They want to choose you and they want to say thank you because they're in a pressure cooker right now and they're wondering if they're going to be rejected. If they ask you to stay, are you going to leave? But you're saying yes. I don't know what the fuck is going on here, guys, but there's a dramatic change. Someone's about to have this harsh cutoff. Somebody's ready to explode and they're raging the fuck out. So if they chose somebody who was doing magic on them, like I said, the veil is being lifted and they're fucking making a dramatic, harsh cutoff. Somebody is going to the major extremes in order to get this yes because they feel locked down. They're closed in. They're trapped. They're really frustrated. So they want to confess this last one, but they're anxious. They're scared. They don't know if you're going to say yes because of this magic that they have that has done like they might even not even trust you I'm, I'm telling you guys like somebody has major trust issues but maybe this is you as well like holy fuck i don't know but at the end of the day there's major roller coaster rides guys somebody is on a high high and a low low they might be a little bit bipolar want to bring that um energy down a little bit okay because somebody needs to pause there's a lot of desire here but you got to be careful that lustful sexual chemistry because somebody is very obsessed with you overindulging in you and has legal issues right now. And this is why they're about to fucking explode. Whatever they chose after rejecting you has got them in a lot of fucking issues and they're locked down, tied, scared, panicking where a lot of people around them are. Take it as it resonates. Could be a lot of people around you. You got a hero coming in or you just are your motherfucking hero. Congratulations, guys. Somebody uh, can't quench their thirst where they are. And this is why they ended up getting in all these legal issues because of all this projecting. Somebody made a wish is praying, hoping and yearning for you. Oh, my God. Yeah, somebody's desire and sexual chemistry and their uh, lack. This lack has got them on a road really fast to nowhere 
and they're hoping that you're going to jump on the road with them? What the fuck? No. Yeah, today. Somebody's about to pop the fuck up today. In the moment, something's going to happen. Something happened. I don't know, but you're protected from Archangel Michael. So people need to check themselves before they wreck the fucking selves on that road call crazy. <laughs> yeah, because somebody's pretending. Living in a fantasy land, living beyond their means. And um, yeah, they're fake smiling in your motherfucking face. So if this is a family member, friends, people are very obsessed with you, but they're not saying anything. Or people are, I don't know, man, people matter. Somebody. Maybe you for having this love that continuously celebrating and somebody really doesn't want you to go anywhere. So you're like <sighs> at this detour right now. You're hitting the faded life. It's like there's this divine intervention of the light and the dark coming in and self-worth. Now somebody has or you have high expectations. You know that you're prevented from harm. There is divine intervention here twice with Archangel Michael, then that faded detours. And then it says cold and detached. Now you could be cold and detached from anybody who is obsessed with you, overindulging with you, lying on you, hiding from you, not speaking the truth, guys, because you read people like to filth and you got self-care. So you transmute that energy. Somebody really is trying to control you or something so that you won't move forward in, into this new beginning. And they're feeling very left out from you because they chose this partnership that clearly went to shit. And you had a transformation instead of jumping into another relationship. See how that goes? Now you're open to receive a good partnership. Someone who can actually help you, protect you, make you feel like they could be a hero. But these third parties are really fucking fucked up in the background. I'm telling you, they don't want you to celebrate. Somebody wants you to to send you a message in your dream about some kind of cycle they ended, some kind of completion. Somebody's taking a leap of faith towards freedom. There's nothing there, guys. I'm telling you, somebody is really pretending or pretended, past, present, future, whatever. But somebody wants to come together. There's some kind of reconciliation of spirits. Somebody is paying attention to the signs and synchronicities. But they're living a fake life. So I don't know. Let's get the overall energy. And then I'm going to clarify some more, guys. 22, master number 22. Somebody sees you as a master. Sees you as something that they're almost untouchable. Okay? So you're like a mystical creature. So a lot of people feel like they're not good enough for you. So they'll leave you before you leave them kind of energy. Which is really just a distortion in their own mind. Okay? And it's because you are the pioneer spirit. It says, pioneer of mourning, disappointment, legacy, and lost love. You have given your emotional energy to others and may now be feeling let down, disappointed, and vulnerable. There is a confusion around you as to where things went wrong as when you fall in love, you love completely. And you put your all into a relationship. Be assured that the issue was not with you. The timing of this union was not quite right and some better or someone better will come along into your life and the anger and hurt you now feel will be a million miles away the love love will soon come into your life again and any negative feelings you now hold will disappear the tide is about to turn for you and you may not know at this stage what you need but you certainly know what you no longer require your vulnerability at this time is understandable but do not let negative experiences hold you back remind yourself that you are a beautiful soul and deserve better okay you hear me you deserve better it's time to take a new leap of faith somebody feels very fucking tied down it could have been you you know feeling tied down in a situation where someone didn't didn't love you tried to keep you oppressed tried to keep you silenced domesticated when they didn't even hold any values within themselves but expected so much from you you see what i'm saying it needs to be equilibrium okay somebody's in a secret society it could be a bunch a group of fucking people trying to distort your view so that this way you don't see that you deserve better and that you have this legacy of yeah somebody is drowning this group is drowning they're lost at sea there's a flood some kind of tsunami because you died it 
did the, I, you dieted <laughs> you dieted the energy out guys you really had a purge because it wasn't just about what you were eating it was about what you were putting in your mind your body your soul your body is your temple guys and you understood that and a lot of people are flooding in their emotions or in a situation that they're in because they wanted world war Guys, we're all fucking going through something right now. And somebody went to war with a fucking healer, which means everything and anything you send, motherfucker gets healed. Like, seriously, you're going to go to war with somebody who can heal? <laughs> Someone is definitely drowning and they ain't got a healer to help them. All these people who went to war, they're all hurt. Who's going to help them? The healer. So unless they learn to heal their motherfucking self, they're just always going to be watching you, hating on you, trying to silence you because you're destructing and dismantling all these saboteurs, all these people who have always tried to block you. You have the love right at the heart of the fucking spread. And a lot of people are spinning the block to tell the truth because they did. They breadcrumbed you. They slept on you because they were in the dark and they didn't want you to shine. It is what it is. They always choose the lesser of the sex or the lesser of the people, the lesser of the family members. Because they're bullies, they're tyrants, <laughs> you know, birds of flyer flock, birds of a feather flock together kind of energy. But you just destroyed and dismantled all these allies who thought they, you know, these people were probably your friends, your family members, even your fucking lovers. And now they're upset because you got some kind of reconciliation, some kind of soul contract coming in and a rise of the civilization and the psychics, a rise of the psychic civilization, guys, the rise of the 5D. So anybody who's living in that 3D patriotic system is all getting burnt up to pieces. The dinosaurs must die, guys. And this is exactly what's going on. No shade, but it's time to release. That's what it says. Release. It says, to, I stop fighting my fears and the hardships of life. I control my thoughts, live in the present moment. I accept each stage of my life. I work on what I have power over. And I put in God's hands what I can't control. I trust what, that everything will work out for the best. And then it says guidance and open to the universe. You have guidance because you are definitely open to the universe. You understand the bigger picture and you know that every action that you make causes a reaction in the universe. So we never get away with anything at the end of the day. And this is why we manifest miracles through our heart chakra. We release these people who clearly are dragging us down so that this way we can... Be open to new things, brighter things, better people, better experiences, better jobs, whatever this is, guys. Manifest miracles. Your dream is soon to become reality. Trust your heart and continue to follow it with guidance. See, you you followed your heart. You followed the guidance of the ancestors. And now you got a new motherfucking beginning. You got a new beginning, guys. A new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. Time to live your dreams passionately. Whatever you want is going to come in, but you got to be careful with that new beginning and what you're manifesting because a lot of people manifest the dark chakras, the dark things first. So wait it out, guys. Don't just take whatever comes, guys. You know, weigh it out. You are single self-sufficient, so it says don't rush into things. Allow nature to take its course, guys. It's when we just accept whatever comes is when you get like put in kind of a trap. Mm -mm. You got options. Wait that bitch. All right. Let's get the subconscious message and I'm going to get some more tarot in here. Okay. So I'm, am I getting enough rest and restore my energy and fully show up in my life? So somebody really needs to get more rest. We all do. Okay. Remember, we heal in our sleep. So a lot of people aren't healing in their sleep because they're too busy doing some shenanigans in the background while you're trying to sleep. Not realizing that you're protected while you sleep as well. Uh, people are dumb. It says, you are an asset. This, your, the body is your vehicle. Notice how the body is feeling. How much sleep are you getting? And what can you do to help your body rest? Today's soul action. Take a bath. Put some lavender essential oils in it. And then get bed, uh, go to bed early, regularly. And give yourself some time out today. Notice your body thanking you. Today's mantra. The more I give myself permission to rest, the more I can co uh, contribute. This is it, guys. Some people, they. Some people from the secret society can't contribute authentically to society because they themselves aren't whole. So what they're doing is they're giving, but it's out of resentment because they don't have a choice. 
And unlike people like me, I give out of the kindness of my heart. So I don't want it back. You can never talk to me again. If I give something to you, it's because I gave it to you. You don't got to give it back to me. If you give it back to me, great, that's fine. But I'm giving it to you out of the kindness of my heart. So you do me dirty. You're just doing yourself dirty because I could care less. <laughs> it is what it is. And that's what's got fucking people so fucked up. Because you're a dreamer. You plan, you organize, you see the truth. You're a faith healer. And you have this new beginning. You opened up to the magic within yourself, understanding that you have the cup and you celebrate life every single day. You open your eyes. You're blessed. It is what it is, guys. You're the pioneer of, uh, the pioneer of mourning, which means you paved the path through the darkest times in life to show others that it is possible to live a good life after having a very, very bad one. You know, sometimes we don't choose the life we have when we're a child, but we do as, a, as an adult and an adolescent. So sometimes we grow up a little later, you know, but we do at the end of the day need to, to look at our timeline and take accountability. Okay, so what's the hidden knowledge? What, what do they want to tell you? What's this person want to tell you? Now, this could be from this new person. This could be from the old person. This could be family, friends. What do they want to say? It says, we will be together again. I love you unconditionally. It says, I want to tell you how I feel. And I know I messed up everything. And it says, I left when I saw you with somebody. Now, you left when you saw this person continuously keep choosing other people over you, whether this is a job, whether this is friends, family, relatives, okay? This is um, a, 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 a clear relationship, like a, a partnership, okay? A sexual relationship or platonic, take it as it resonates. A lot of people love you unconditionally, but you know, and they know that they messed up everything, trying to blame you and then throw you under the bus. Now they want to tell you what's up. They want to tell you how they feel because clearly they're the ones who are being thrown under the bus. This is why we have to fucking be careful on who we choose to fuck over and why. Because if you're not, if you're hurting somebody for absolutely nothing, at the end of the day, you're the one who's going to hurt because somebody knows their self-worth and released. And as soon as you released yourself, these people, motherfuckers are falling. It's it. That's all, guys. They're descending into the unknown. <laughs> and you've already descended into the unknown. So just wish them well, okay? It's going to be a little bit of a fall because I'm telling you, these Jezebels and these um, false idols are all falling on their motherfucking face. Forget who you are. Now, somebody needs to forget who you are or forget who they were. Or maybe you need to forget who they were. Take it as it resonates. Put yourself where you belong. There's a whole lot of ties that need to be cut. But... Conditions fall away. Memory no longer defines you. Now, somebody may even need to reintroduce themselves and they pop the fuck up because holy fuck, they are. And it's clock time. I'm telling you, somebody feels pressure. Like they are in a rush to do something. Time is irrelevant, guys. Time is non-existent. Yes, time's going to kick you in the fucking ass one day, but at the end of the day... You are not running out of shit. <laughs> so take your fucking time, okay? Because I'm telling you, if you rush into something, you're just going to end up falling on your fucking ass. Because that rug is going to slip right from underneath you because you're going to find out that person that you rushed into is not the person that you expected them to be. So take your time in getting to know people. Take your time in getting to to take the job, okay? If you get some kind of offer or information or something, sit on it. Sleep on it. Do the information for yourself. Do the research for yourself. Find out for yourself. Don't just listen to people and what they got to say because a lot of people got ulterior motives and then they end up falling on your ass and you end up falling with them. Someone's got unconditional love for you because you are the fucking truth and you know the right way. Fuck, you knew the right way and you tried to warn these people. But learning to create what you desire, You're, you learn to create what you desire and somebody is so fucking intrigued and you watching you with your motherfucking popcorn and you know, and it says can't go back to yesterday. Somebody is realizing they can't go back to yesterday. They want to tell you the truth so that this way they can move forward. Can't fucking do anything about what has happened in the past, guys. All you can do is change so that this way your future is better. But if you're going to continue to do what you do, then own it. Be glad you do that and stay in that higher energy to away from us fucking light workers. It is what it is because these flying monkeys thought you were a scapegoat when you're the motherfucking goat. Now you got all these people tormented because they thought you were an easy target. 
Now you need to reintroduce yourself because these motherfuckers are falling. You're not so fucking easy after all. <laughs> Heart of the deck is... Yeah, follow the white rabbit. Yo, somebody is curious, meets opportunity. I'm telling you, take the opportunity that's before you, but think about it. Okay, sit on it. Let it fester a little bit. Okay, because at the end of the day, what's good for you is coming in and you need to use your sensuality. Use that feminine wisdom internally to really weigh out what's good for you and what's not. And use your precognition. You have this psychic ability to see the future and it's going to help you to open up gates you're guided. You got this illuminating path. So these people could try to stop you. What? You got the tenderness. It's all about true love and compassion, guys. So whew, what is this one? Yeah, you're touching the earth. You're planting something new and you're opening your heart to new opportunities, new people, new jobs, new perspectives, and you're taking time to rest. That's why I don't have my um, personal readings up right now. They're all uh, they're all on hiatus, okay? So I'm taking a break. Why? Because I think that spirit guides, ancestors, oracles, the universe is going to open up something better for me right now because there's too many people. It, it's not a give and take right now. So I'm just going to take a step back and spirit's going to open up another door because um, that's just the way it goes, okay? But I'm here giving free readings to you guys every single day. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, okay? It's the yang. There's the sun, guys. There's God creator source. I'm telling you, you have this perspective, this expression, doing, moving forward. No matter, you're going to keep going. You're going to have these opportunities. What's from the planets, guys? And it says Virgo, okay? Integrity, re um, resourcefulness, and service. You are a service to this world, okay? Jupiter, it's about growing and expanding, networking, and fire, and cancer. And then ninth house, okay? So spiritual growth, nurture, comfort, and protection, confidence, optimism, passion, and bravery. Now it's time for you to be brave. You've been brave through all these adversities, through all these flying monkeys. You put them all on their fucking ass. And it's because you nurtured yourself. You respected yourself enough to say no when it was necessary. And if people felt some kind of way, well, that's just because they had arterial motives and wanted to take advantage of your kindness, not realizing that you're not so innocent. You will uh, ring a bitch up if you have to. Tenth house, structure, discipline, life, mission, accomplishments, and career. That's it, baby. You know what you've accomplished. You know your life mission. You have a major discipline. And that's what gives you that spiritual growth to defeat these bullies, to rise from civilization, and to be the real healer. And somebody wants to heal with you. I'm not going to fucking lie. Let's get the juice. Okay. Tarot, tarot, tarot. Yes, tarot. Okay. So, yeah, somebody can move forward. It's a chariot in reverse. Spirit guides, let's get some more tarot, and then I'll dive into that juice for you. All right? So what's the time? We're at the 2747, guys. I don't know if that's a good angel number. Like, check it out and put it in the comments and let me know what 2747 means to you. Okay, guys? I love yous and I truly appreciate it. And I really do like when you um, interact. Okay, so nine of wands and the four of pentacles. I'm telling you, somebody fucking knows that you are the wounded warrior. That you have fought and overcame a lot of adversities. And these people can't fucking hold on to you. Like, you really, really just beat, a, like, a whole group of people. And I don't even think you know. Two of Pentacles. Yeah, you're not juggling shit no more. And these people can't juggle you. But this injustice. It's the Three of Swords, the King of Swords, and the Five of Wands. Now, somebody is healing from a heartbreak and coming in to speak the truth. Could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This could be you. Take it as it resonates. I don't feel it is. But there's a lot of fighting or it's going to cause a lot of people to fight because all these bullies don't want this to happen. But two of swords is in reverse. Somebody's out of this illusion. They knew they know what's going on. They know the fact of the matter and they know what it's going to take in order to stand up as this warrior and be the healer of their own lives as well. Somebody's a herbalist, but doesn't want people to know about their gifts. High priestess in the upright, you know, because you are the high priestess. You know exactly who this fucking person is. And it's the sun in reverse. This person's depressed because they know that you have the strength. Page of Pentacles, the strength. You started all back over again. You got it right out the motherfucking mud. You overcame your demons. You conquered your own inner demons. Now somebody wants to help. Uh, hey, man. 
eliminate something. Somebody is not single self-sufficient, but they still want to invest in you in some kind of way. Why? It's the chariot. Because they know with you they can move forward. Now, is this arrogancy? Is this uh, opportunist? The six of pentacles in reverse. Yes. Nine of cups. Somebody sees you as wish fulfillment. <sighs> But they're still not going to give you reciprocity. They're still not going to value you. And all they're trying to do is block you from this new opportunity. That's the truth, guys. Somebody is coming in with the truth. And instead of... Somebody is watching you. Wants to come in before another person to block this beautiful growth and expansion that's heading your way. But you illuminated your path. You also know that this is happening. There's somebody lying in your face. It could be a friend, a family, somebody who's really, really fucking close to you, who thought you thought that was your partner or something. You're taking the self-love. This person has been lying to you and spying on you. You might have to eliminate them because honestly, there's a lot of regret here. Somebody feels a lot of regret for not taking your cup, but they've been revengeful, and that's why they're left out in the dark, left out in the cold, and missing out on opportunities, or they feel like they missed out on a big opportunity, which is the gift, which is you, because a person is always more valuable than any anything money can buy. I'm telling you, the most valuable thing in the world is a person, is a human, a soul. That's valuable, but somebody just missed out because the Ten of Swords, somebody wanted to betray you. And the answer is said, I don't fucking think so because you're structured, disciplined, you're on your life mission and they really thought they could do this? World in reverse. Now somebody feels incompletion. Eight of pentacles because you turned your talents into a profession. Somebody's watching you and they fell from grace. Somebody copied you, thought that they could be you, do you, doppelgang you, take your opportunities and they're falling. That was a foolish fucking choice. A lot of people lied on you and this is why they can't get the message through to you because the ancestors archangel michaels they're protecting you from these people from your past because they did they copied you but you healed from this and you're getting a brand new opportunity and message because you let go of this you got a brand new marriage or you are a public speaker you are wish fulfillment this player has no fucking love and is in a relationship with a mother that is clearly toxic or a baby mama and they're causing a lot of injustice. These people could be from your family and they're never going to fucking heal. And they're not fucking authentic. They're never going to apologize. They're going to continuously do magic on you so that you're stuck and you don't transform. But they're aimlessly wandering and they can't move forward. And they think because they have a lot of options, they're good. Like this is Jezebel fucking spirit on it at its max. And this is why they feel incomplete in their life because they can't fucking quench their thirst. Nothing is ever going to be good enough for them. That's judgment, guys. Someone's karma is nothing is ever going to be good enough for them. Wow, that sucks. That sucks. Well, you sit there and have spiritual growth. Yeah, your dreams are fucking coming true because you're protected. You're protected because you're the earth angel. You have the heart to uplift those around you like an earth angel. You deserve to shine. And you tried to help these people and they betrayed you, threw you under the bus. And now they're feeling left out because you're rising. Whew, that divine feminine energy inside of you. Oh, my God. It's blowing up. Got so much passion. and All that magic is backfiring. Somebody is being seen for who the fuck, what the fuck it is. And all that magic is being backfired. And whatever is meant to be is going to be because you're still having a transformation. No matter how many people try to block you with magic or whatever. They're only haunted by their own demons. Ah, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> and that's why you grew the fuck up. You knew this. You ain't haunted. Why? Because you ain't got no motherfucking demons. You wrote that letter with them. You conquered your own inner demons. Shit. You ain't scared. You ain't never fucking scared because you ain't doing shit. But these motherfuckers doing a lot of motherfucking shit. Hiding those fucking skeletons in those closets and then think they can attack you and not have everything just fall the fuck out. Yeah, you're moving forward. You grew the fuck up. And trust is everything. I'm telling you, somebody didn't trust you when it's because they didn't trust themselves and they should have looked at the energy or the people around them because it's game motherfucking over for these people, guys. Everything's blowing up. These organizations, <laughs> I'm telling you, a lot of fucking people try to take you out while you were just chilling, doing what you need to do, drinking your water. Got the wheel of fortune, guys. Why? 
because the sun and the moon protect you, the divine and the masculine, uh, the divine feminine, the divine masculine, the light and the dark. You got both protecting you. So you left when you seen other people choose other people over you. Now they're going through karma because even when they fucking put all those swords in you, it says everything is okay. You still conquered because you have this beautiful love, this cup of love. And whoever wants this king of wands clearly fucked you over and is clearly having a major fucking tower. Yeah, major tower. <sighs> Ugh, let's see what's going on here. I'm telling you, whatever's in the dark is being seen by God. So if you thought you were getting away with it, you ain't. Why? Somebody was money hungry. It was all about money. They were greedy, envious, stealing from you. <sighs> they seen you as a lucky charm. So they've been siphoning or they wanted you to stay stuck so nobody would Take advantage of the beautiful energy that you have. You are a light worker, guys, and you are somebody's home or you are home in general, guys. Wherever you are is home. And somebody's fucking watching you, like stalking you, like hard, hard. And uh, yo, you ain't about this bullshit. I'm telling you, somebody chose a bum over a motherfucking boss and now feels some kind of way. And your ancestors and deities, and they've been watching and seeing this the whole time. And they seen how strong you were. And now that's why you're getting sent in a real divine masculine. And the haters are gonna fucking hate. They're gonna hate. Especially this fuck my bum ass fucking bitch. But it is what it is, guys. They wished you were stuck. And this is why you're just being free and ascending. You are an ascended master. So you gotta thank them for making you a fucking monster. Because these haters made you a fucking monster. Yo, the, you ended the cycle. Yo, thank these fucking haters. Because I'm telling you, without them, you wouldn't have been able to evolve as fast as you did. And energy never fucking lies, guys. So people are on that fucking chopping block. And because they breadcrumbed you. The doors are opening. And it's all about love and honor. Somebody should have loved and honored you. And now that's going to be a cold ass motherfucking winter for a lot of people. And they're fearful. Because they should have fucking not delayed somebody's blessings. Not tried anyways, because at the end of the day, somebody's over sexuality has caught them in a situation where they're feeling very foolish because they walked out on a fucking soulmate and went right into a karmic soul contract. And that's exactly what delayed their progress. OK, and that's why they tried to delay yours. But no, you just knew somebody was depressed and you knew that somebody was way in their ego, sad and trying to keep you oppressed. And you have somebody coming in who really just adores you. It's going to bring a lot of Wheel of Fortune, a lot of haters. But guys, remember, fear is installed, okay? It's time to take a new leap of faith with the fool and the upright. Time to go on a new journey. Time to do what you need to do, the moon and the upright. Somebody feels like there's a lot of motherfucking hidden emotions, a, hit, a lot of hidden, repressed emotions that they're feeling. Somebody needs to make their own dreams come true because at the end of the day, you're going to keep picking a bum over her fucking boss. Well, then you're going to always be in that Jezebel spirit energy, right? Of settling. You want to be a settler? Then fine. Be a motherfucking settler. But don't hate on people who choose to heal and walk away from toxic environments that clearly aren't going to help them evolve. Now, you are the trailblazer. You are the trendsetter. You will have this original originality. You are a philosopher. You have this progressive imaginative thinking and your fucking integrity, it's unmatched. So continuously keep going, guys. I hope this helped you. I hope this gave you some clarity today. Thank you for spending some time with me. And let me clear off this energy because god damn. Okay? Remember to rest, restore your energy. And these people are really upset because as they were sending you all this shit, all you did was keep resting, keep restoring. And you know that the universe works with you, not against you. And this is why somebody wants to plead for your forgiveness. I'm seeing a two fucking cups right here. But it's in between a whole lot of motherfucking money hungry energies. OK, so be careful. Some people just want to celebrate with you because of what you have or because what you give to them. So. Don't give too much right away, okay? Because some people will fall in love with, with your hand and not your heart. And this is exactly what happens. And then some people will fucking bite the hand that feeds them and then live off of your high vibrational energy and call it for their own. And then when you're not giving it to them anymore, they feel some kind of way. Eight of cups and then they're aimlessly wandering because they know that that wasn't their energy that they lived off of. It was yours. 
you're single self-sufficient. You're a pioneer of mourning, man. Somebody is raging the fuck out. Because you're free. <laughs> I love you guys. Stay blessed. Have a beautiful, beautiful night. And if you have anything you want to talk about, you can always email me. But my personal readings are closed and they will be closed for a couple weeks because I just want to take some time off for myself. But I know that spirit guides are going to help me open the door somewhere else to be able to put food on my plate for my kids. But other than that, I love yous. Thank yous. And if you do want to jump donate or join the channel you can always hit the membership bar or you can donate back to the channel okay it does help to support the channel and the algorithm by pushing like okay i love you guys stay blessed and i'll see you later